guys, so today's video, I am going to be cleaning out this beast behind me. Let's see if I can open it. Oh, all right. Fridge and freezer. We are a vegan family of five, first and foremost, so this will be a vegan refrigerator cleaner. I was gonna say refrigerator, but my husband behind the camera. He doesn't like that word. I always say refrigerator. You guys let me know in the comments. Do you call it a refrigerator or a refrigerator? What do you call it? But most of this is going to be a freezer clean out. Our fridge was recently done, though it does need to be wiped down, so don't look too closely. Uh, but there definitely is some stuff probably in here that we'll also be able to get rid of. So we recently shoved everything in here because we had to clean out our overflow freezer, which I'll also show you guys. Uh, we make a lot of stuff in bulk. So like our sauces, uh, mostly our sauces, really. Uh, but it takes a lot of room because, you know, we'll make sauce and we'll have like five, six jars of sauce extra or we make our lentil chili uh, and it takes up a lot of room. So because of that, we do have an overflow freezer and we'll show you, you guys that. But everything kind of ended up in here and then we put some of it in there and now it's just everywhere and this fridge has never gone through uh, and it needs to be cleaned up. So it's been a little while. I'm pretty sure there's actually stuff in here from before we were even vegan. Possibly. There might be. Um, in this bottom thing, because I remember us throwing some stuff down here, like if our parents were here and we had to cook for them, we just like, threw it down here because we had already had it. So that means it's been in here for like over a year. <laughs> so yep. it's time. Don't ask me why we're gonna wipe down the counters because I'm about to put a bunch of stuff in the freezer and it's gonna have to get wiped down again. We're just gonna pull everything out and then we'll look at it. So let's see what we got. Frozen bananas. We That's a those. lot of bananas. Yeah, we use these for all of our smoothies, so we just get a lot of bananas. I never understood until I became vegan why vegans always had so many bananas. I get it now. Franny, what are you doing? Coming to play with the mix, mixed veggies. I don't even know what some of this is. Yeah, uh, some of that's like way old. Freezing. Yeah, well, it is a freezer. Baby. These are real old. Oh, boy. Is that noodles? What? That's <laughs> lentils. These, we pre soak our cashews and our almonds to use with our almond cow. So you can pre soak them and then just put them in the freezer and just take them out and use them as you need. And I also have cloth pads that I made into pansicles that These. I never used. <laughs> or not cloth pads, pansicles that I made for postpartum. That I never used. What is this, Ryan? <laughs> is there funny. a reason you made it? I love it shake? How do you know I did that? I don't remember doing that. Let's be honest. Um, it's probably, it was probably you that no, did that. it was yeah. not me. Probably. Nice and bulgy is, chili. Like, is this too cold? Why is it like this? Um, because the freezer is open. Oh. Probably one of her puffs. Uh, the nuggets. Oh, these were the veggie nuggets that weren't as good, right? I don't know. One waffle. One waffle. Is that waffle uh, are... vegan? No. You don't so think I so? It's sitting there. <laughs> oh, okay. We've owned it since before. I could have just ate it, like not wasted, it, but like it didn't sound good to me. <laughs> this is one of the things I actually bought after going vegan that I thought was vegan that wasn't vegan. Oh, it isn't? No. It has dairy in it. Actually, one of you told me because you had done the same thing because I did it all the time. And she was like, I thought those were vegan too because the rest of this brand is. Um, but these ones were not. Uncured turkey bacon. Just sitting there. Your mom probably will take it. Yeah. We won't make it be wasted. We'll give it to my parents because it doesn't look like it's freezer burned at all. No. Got our green real meals for Miss Rennie when we're lazy. And more peas. These are not the peas that were put on your self. Were they? No, all those got thrown away, I okay. believe. We had a bunch of peas when Ryan got a vasectomy. And we're like, we need to make sure we throw these away. <laughs> now every time I see peas in here, I'm worried that they're from that. Fresh We'll show stuff. you guys what's in here, but this is all keep stuff. So, more Dr. Prager burgers. These are the burgers that we take with now when we go um, to like grill outs and stuff. Then, so, before I hear from the vegan police, there is honey in this. So, if you're a vegan that's like super against honey, then don't buy this. Um, however, our middle child has a severe intolerance to gluten, uh, and this is the best vegan 
without having like eggs or dairy or anything like that that we have found that's actually affordable. It's gotten to a point now with her intolerance though that like sometimes we have issues with cross contamination too it seems. Um, and because we have a kid going to school and stuff, we do have to have bread in our house for some of the and stuff just to make lunches a little bit easier. Um, and so that's what we get from Costco. Otherwise though we have asparagus, a giant thing of spinach for um, smoothies. So down here is some of our sauces. So this is a vegan Alfredo sauce from Chris's vegan kitchen recipe. Um, what's this? Rice. rice. We, that's another thing. We make rice and rice and quinoa mixed together in bulk. Yeah, I love uh, rice and quinoa. Black beans, because we make our black, uh, we like, get the dry, dry black, black beans. beans and then cook them. And then we have some elderberry syrup in here. And that is frozen so that we can take it out a little bit at a time. And you didn't address oh. the... So this... We always have something in here uh, for taking to like grill outs or something. Um, these are one of our favorites, the Beyond Sausage plant-based sausages, the hot Italian ones. They're really good. And then we got pizzas just because they were on, what were they, 50% off or something yeah. like that? They're 50% off at Whole Foods and these are super expensive. The Diet Vegan pizzas are really good. Um, mushroom and roasted garlic for this one, that's a cheese lover. And they're gluten-free, isn't yeah, it? Yes, they're gluten-free too. Have that one. And then we just got one of their two packs um, of pizza crust. In here mostly sauces and things for like taking the grill outs so like long term we just hold on to so we always have it especially because we're not really close to like a whole foods or trader joe's so if we need to get the stuff like we have to get it and just keep it in there you coming Rennie? come on Rennie. Rennie, come on come on Rennie. <laughs> so this is all the food we actually have to go through it's actually quite a bit when you think about it yeah this is the cream cheese that I made like pretty much right when we went vegan. This is one of those things that I asked my husband when I was just craving unhealthy vegan food to get. We're just gonna pretend this isn't in the mix. Quinoa rice. Quinoa rice. Rice and quinoa. That can stay in here. Yeah. That's freezer bread. Oh, the green beans. No. You got an armful. I do. Those down there. Open ones in the door. Perfectly in it. Okay. Try and look at what we can get rid of. Okay. I don't know. That's just. Yeah. This is. Like open the thing. Yeah. Here you go. Get rid of the one lump of non vegan. This is vegan sausage that's been there for a year. So throw it? Yeah. What's that? It smells good. Whatever it is. Just throw it away. Okay. I don't know what that is. This is. Hey, Ren. The last of our vegan mac and cheese sauce that we made. How does one clean a freezer though? It literally just froze my spray. As soon as it touched it. <laughs> Looks like it's dirty, but underneath it has like ice. I think that freezer is too. Or is it just because it's been open? It's because it's been open. What? Alright. It's down there. Ooh. I don't know. Good thing you're cleaning it out. Oh, nice! Oh, bagels. Bagels from Gary's birthday party. <laughs> yeah. Bang. Yeah, bangles from your birthday party. I can have some with my birthday party again. Look at this part like this. Okay, go back to the table and clean up. It's like greasy. I don't know, sweetheart. This is so gross. We're disgusting people. If it makes you feel any better, huh. I have a good feeling that most people just don't clean out their freezers ever. But like, what is this a stinky? Uh, my guess is it's probably like popsicles or something oh, that were in there at some point. We're gonna take a little sidebar here because we're simultaneously cooking dinner while doing this. This is a new uh, chickpea noodle that we just got because they stopped carrying banza at Costco. Um, and if you've tried to buy chickpea noodles before at like Walmart, they're ridiculously expensive mm -hmm. if you don't buy them at Costco. They stopped carrying Banza and that's my favorite. And I still think that it's better than this one. However, this one only has one ingredient. Banza has xanthan gum in it, pea protein, and chickpea flour. And I think there's one other thing in it. The only thing in these is chickpea flour. We made a vegan mac and cheese. I'll leave up the recipe that we used. It's actually rotini cheese. Mm, yeah. Me Routini and cheese. cheese. All right, let's finish this up. Spaghetti sauce here that has, I'm assuming the vegan veggie crumbles. Yeah. 
Gardein, is it Gardein? Yeah, I believe so. And then lentils that we made and froze. You know what's gross and weird? What? Is that a freezer essentially might mostly holds stuff that's like already prepackaged. You're not like continually opening it, and yet it still accumulates. Yeah. Hair and dirt. All right. This is good enough. Look at that. Wow. Gotta say, that looks pretty good. Sure does. You done bueno, sweetheart. So, well, what's this look like now? Oh More boy. Cool. Oh boy. But it's all stuff we eat. No, I know, I'm just kidding. This one's not meant to look that nice. Moving out of the fridge. First and foremost, it's really gross. I don't think I actually need to do much in here besides like wipe down the bottoms of these. Uh, and which, maybe go through uh, yeah. stuff right up On here. This, but everything here has been gone through recently. We keep our like pears, lemons, oranges, basically apples fruits down there. and then veggies. Some veggies. We have tofu, tempeh, some cream cheese. I have a crap ton of vegan cream cheese right now because I'm going to be making a vegan pumpkin cheesecake for Ooh. our small group this Thursday. So that's why we don't normally have five tubs of vegan cream cheese in our fridge. Then our almond cow milk here. Uh, we definitely have a lot of this good going. Yeah, that's practically gone. We always have a lot of hummus in our lives. All oh, this is just like our normal stuff though. Ooh, Granny likes to just eat mushrooms. So we have mushrooms and I actually just take them and I'll like press them into nutritional yeast and then she'll eat them like that. Uh, real easy, nothing fancy. Snackies. Fruit, we actually need more fruit. Lots of lettuce, we get a big thing from Costco. Then we have grapes, um, some celery, and green peppers. Oh yeah, that was open recently. Okay, one of these had like nothing in it. Yeah. I don't know how we ended up with two open um, ones, but this one. That one won't close. Okay, probably just swap the lid then. Anything. This stuff I'm really sad to learn has gluten in it because it is so good. Well, if you get them too empty, they're gonna start to shift when you open and close the drawer. Doesn't our thing have a thing? Oh our yeah. Thing have a thing? Yeah. Where is that? There you go. So it goes like that. And only the skinny stuff will fit. Which is almost, almost nothing all we this have. Space? Like, why didn't they make it a little, make it little bigger? Uh, bigger? Yeah, who knows? Oh, there you go. There's that one. Stretch it. Okay. And that's all that will fit in there. Yep. <laughs> it really is poorly designed. Like, yeah. come on. You guys really already saw the after. But here is the after. Uh, we can take down and make that look nice. It's a but, it's functional. But this is what looks nice. Yes. I mean, I feel like we did pretty good. Yeah, I'd say we got a bunch of stuff. A lot of, I mean, there's of this, this stuff, which is not much, but then that and yeah, a lot already went into the garbage. All right, that is gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you are new. If you're interested in minimalist type content or decluttering videos, cleaning things out, veganism, whatever, then this channel might be of interest to you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see all of your wonderful faces in my next video. Bye.